Hi everyone, welcome to my channel La Deutsche Vita, Life in Germany, Made in Germany. My name is Phoebe and today we are going to talk about things that are going to make your life in Germany much easier. First off, you cannot neglect the fact that you have to make sure your legal documentation is intact. You need to have your passports, your legal stay, your staying permit, all of them have to be done. And make sure that you have your health insurance and also your residence registration done. Next, make sure you have a career or an education that you're coming to pursue, something to make you keep you busy and also to enable your legal stay. Now, the third thing that is of utmost importance is that you come with the readiness to integrate. You cannot come to Germany and not partake in activities or into the German societal life. You're not going to enjoy your stay here to the fullest. So first, with the readiness to integrate, you have to be able to speak the language. The language is your everything. It is so important because in your day-to-day -day life, you see German written around you, you hear German spoken around you, spoken to you, written to you, and you have to understand that ASAP sometimes. You sometimes don't even have the time to have somebody help you read it. That's the truth. So please try as much as possible to start learning even before you come to Germany. There are numerous apps that can help you. For example, Duolingo, Babbel, Vigate, WordPick, Deutsche Akademie. And you can also check in your country if there's a Goethe Institute that can help you with these courses. They are aligned with the ones that are also taught here. So you can just continue once you come to Germany. The next thing is that you should also try German food, German drinks, German music you find something that you would like, definitely, because there are a variety of music and food types and even clothing. There are some that you would just love, like the dindel and for the men, we have the lederhose. Another thing that you should also watch out for is making sure that you have your contact in Germany. You need at least two types of contact because you need someone who's going to teach you things as time goes by, explain things to you. So preferably you need somebody who is German, born in Germany, raised in Germany, grew up in Germany, lives in Germany and knows what's up. And then you need somebody who probably comes from your part of the world. If you come from Ghana, look for a Ghanaian in Germany who has lived here for about at least 10 years, who would also explain things to you from the Ghanaian perspective. So things that you wouldn't know, they would tell you. So for example, there are things that Ghanaians have to do in Germany to achieve certain things he will be able to tell you those things. Before coming to Germany, join platforms that are going to help you to connect to people in Germany. So for example, you know you're coming to Frankfurt, you can join um, the Facebook group for people living in Frankfurt and introduce yourself. They'll probably accept you to the group, introduce yourself. And at first you'd have, the, that is your first point of contact. You can join expats groups. You can also just join couch surfing, not because you need an accommodation, but simply because you need someone who will show you around and help you practice your German. Another thing you should come with that is also part of the readiness is that you should know that you're going to have to be more self-sufficient in Germany. There are some things that you're not going to find here, um, like the way you find them in your country. For example, if you are an African lady, you're not going to find African salons everywhere. Maybe in the big cities like in Stuttgart, in Frankfurt, in Berlin, but if you live somewhere on the countryside, where are you going to find a hairdresser, a hairstylist? No. So you have to be self-sufficient. Google and YouTube are your best friends on how to do your own hair. For example, if there are certain things that you love to have in your home country that you normally used to pay for, for someone to do for you, please find a way around it. You have to be self-sufficient. And another thing is you also have to take into consideration your mental health. Because over here, you're going to be more alone than usual in Africa where you live with a lot of people or you have a lot of people around you. Your social life is bigger in Africa or wherever you are coming from, but here your social life is going to decrease. So most of it is going to be virtual and also you also have to know how to spend time with yourself. You're going to be sometimes, you're going to feel uncertain about certain moves you make, certain steps. It's fine. You're in a new place. You're in new surroundings. So please educate yourself on what you can do, what you cannot do. Google is your best friend in such things. Just ask Google in English and you have your answers most of the time. So guys, this is the end of today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, 
please feel free to send them to me you can just comment them in the comment section below or just if you have any feedback let me know i'm going to really enjoy reading your feedback and if you like this video please give it a thumbs up subscribe to the channel for more and see you next time cheers